So today's video is going to be on this makeup look. It's a very pretty, bronzy, very warm, summery look. I'm obsessed with it. It's very glowy and I just wanted to do something that was very like summery and bronze goddessy. So this is what I came up with and I also wanted to do a tutorial that was fairly simple. So I didn't do winged liner and the eyeshadow is actually very simple. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about my makeup and then I did change my background also. So I have this like shimmer backdrop up right now and then when I film in the daytime I'll just have the window back there. I was kind of getting sick of the plain paper backdrop so let me know which one you guys like better. I eventually want to go back into filming in my beauty room but it's just such a mess in there so I'm working on how I can figure that out to where I can film in there again but anyways I'm rambling on. It has been so long since I've actually uploaded a video. I filmed like five videos and something went wrong in every single video whether it was my lost my footage or the lighting was super off or my microphone didn't record me. There's just been so many things that have been happening so I am so so sorry that I haven't been uploading for you guys but now I think I have everything figured out so nothing like that will be happening and I can get back to filming and uploading for you guys again. So enough of me talking now. I'm just gonna get right into this video. So if you aren't already then please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so so much to me and if you want to know how I got this makeup look then just keep on watching. Okay so the very first thing I'm going to do is take the shade Running Late by Colourpop. This is one of their new pressed shadows and I'm using a Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to dust that all over my transition area. Just very lightly because this is kind of a not brighter but a more pigmented shade so you don't want to go in with too much. You just want to take a little bit just so we can start building up that transition shade. And I'm also making sure to take the shade all the way into the inner corner. Then we're going to switch over to the shade Early Bird by Makeup Geek and I'm using a Morphe M573 brush. I'm just going to do the same exact thing right over top of that first shade that we put down, just keeping that shade a little bit lower. So we're just going to keep this one a little bit closer and tighter into the crease area. And then I'm also starting to drag that color a little bit onto my eyelid about halfway through. Then I just switched over to a Sigma E38 brush just because this one's a little bit denser and packs a little bit more of the color on right into that crease because that first one was just a little bit too fluffy. So I'm just going to keep building this shade up. You don't want to ever go in with too much product because then it's going to be really hard to blend that out most of the time. So I always just like to go in with a little bit of product at a time and then just gradually build my way up. And then just using that same brush, I'm using the shade Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to start packing that shade in the very outer corner, like the outer third of my eye. And we're going to start with this product pretty low on my lid. And then once the product starts to leave my brush, then I'm going to start blending it upwards and just buffing it up pretty slowly because we want to keep it that gradual effect from that yellow to orange to this really deep red brown shade. Now we're going to go in with the shade Sunset by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of her brand new pressed single shadows. It is beautiful. It's so pigmented. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that on my MAC 242 brush. I'm just going to start swiping that on my lid. Oh, like look at how pigmented that is you guys. It's insane. Then I'm just going to pick up a little bit more and focusing it on the tip of the brush and then just kind of start carving out a little bit more of that crease just so that we have a little bit more of a defined line. Now that lid shades on, we're going to go back in with blazing and just touch up anywhere that the matte shadow kind of disappeared and got overlapped by the shimmer shade and then blending that right into the shimmer shade. That way you're gonna get like that perfect gradual effect from the shimmer shade and then to the matte instead of just having a harsh line there. Now for my eyeliner, I'm not gonna do a winged liner today because I wanted to keep this eye look pretty simple. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the shade Black is Black. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. I love this stuff so much. And then the brush I'm using is a Sigma E06 brush. So I'm basically just drawing a straight line just above my lash line and then I'm going to stop it right where my lash line ends and then connect that and then I'll just fill it in. 
Then for my eyelashes, I'm using the Flare Lashes in the style Intoxicating. So I'm first just going to put a quick coat of mascara onto my natural lashes just so that my natural lashes match the fake eyelashes. And I got some mascara in my eyeshadow. It literally happens to me every single day. It's so frustrating. But what we're going to do is just let that completely dry and then I'll go in with an eyeshadow brush and wipe that off and it'll come right off. You never want to touch it right when you do it because if it's wet, it's going to smear. So you always want to wait till it's dry. Just a little tip. So this is about what your glue should look like by the time it's dry and ready to be put on your eyelid. So I'm just going to grab it with my tweezers just as close to the eyelash band as I possibly can. And I'm going to hold it right in the middle and then I'm just going to press those lashes on right in the center of my eyelid. And I just make sure the center is on and then I go to the outer corner, grab by the lash line, press it on as close as I can to my lash line, and then move to the inner corner and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush with just a little bit of leftover eyeshadow on it and run it right over top of that mascara and see how easy that just came off. So easy and you don't even have to mess up your eyeshadow to get it off. Now I'm just going to take my tweezers and slide them right through the lashes and then just squeeze my natural lashes to the false lashes. The mascara on my natural lashes is kind of going to like suction cup them together so that, so that they look more natural. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my face before I finish off the lower lash line just because I like doing my concealer first before the eyeshadow so I don't mess anything up. So anyways, I'm going with the Estee Edit the Pore Vanishing Stick and I'm just going to rub this all over just the apples of my cheeks just where I have some larger pores and I'm just going to really fill those in. And then for my actual primer, I'm using my all-time favorite, the Kanan Austin Primer and Protect Mattifying Primer. So I'm going to be putting this all over my face, but mainly just focusing it in my T-zone where I get the oiliest because it is a mattifying primer, so it really helps to control my oils and keep them at bay. So I'm just going to be putting a dot on my forehead, nose, and my chin where I get the oiliest, and then just kind of start rubbing that outwards. Now for my foundation, I'm using the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I have been loving this foundation. It has such a beautiful finish on it. it. Makes my skin look very soft. And again, it does keep my oils at bay so good because it is mattifying and it's just a beautiful foundation. I've been loving it. So I'm going to be trying out this brush. I have no idea. Oh, it's from Crown. I got this in my BoxyCharm box today and I'm just like really eager to try it. I've never tried an Artiste brush or anything like that. So it definitely blends out the foundation really fast. Yeah, I think I really like this brush because you can be really precise with it and it blends it out really, really fast. And it made the foundation look super soft too. Okay, so now I'm gonna conceal under my eyes a little bit. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is like such an oldie but a goodie for me. I used to be obsessed with this concealer and the second that the Tarte Shape Tape came out, I didn't even touch this. And I've recently picked it up and started using it again and I forgot how much I loved it. I'm just gonna spot conceal my little breakout that I had because they were starting to peek through a little bit. So I'm just gonna let that concealer sit on there for just a couple minutes so there's a little bit more coverage over those pimples. And then I'm gonna go in and set that concealer underneath my eyes with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. My favorite setting powder for setting underneath the eyes. It's such a beautiful powder and it doesn't flash back in photography. It's just amazing, so I absolutely love this. Just picking up a little bit of the powder on my damp beauty sponge and then I'll press that in underneath my eyes. And this is just gonna lock that concealer in place and make sure that it's not gonna crease on you throughout the day. I found that when I set my under eyes with a damp beauty sponge, it makes my under eyes look so soft and flawless rather than using a brush to set them. Now I'm gonna bronze up the face a little bit. I'm using MAC Give Me Sun. This is my favorite bronzer, especially for the summertime and 
the spring because it's so warm. It has like that really orangey undertone, which kind of scares a lot of people away because it's so like orange and warm, but it is beautiful. It's a mineralized skin finish powder, so it's baked, so it's gonna be just a very natural glow. And also using it with a super big fluffy brush helps a ton. This is a Morphe R7 brush, my favorite brush for bronzing. And then just with a super light hand, dusting that all over the outsides of my face, and you can just see it gives this beautiful, natural glow. It's, it's like a glow that you would get from being out in the sun. And then we're gonna go in and take just a little bit of the shade Sculpt from the Tarte Tardis Pro Palette. And I'm using an Anastasia A22 brush. Just picking up a little tiny bit of this and I'm just gonna deepen up that contour line a little. Okay, and then now just to do my lower lash line quick, I'm taking the shade Blazing again on a Morphe M432 brush, and I'm just gonna tight line that all along my lash line. And then I'll take a Morphe M506 brush with no product on it and just buff that out. So I wasn't gonna do this, but I feel like it needs it, and I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner Gel. This is my favorite eyeliner. I'm obsessed with it. Then I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lash line, and I'm using the, I mean my lower lashes, the Sephora Outrageous Curl Mascara. And then for my blush, I'm gonna be using the Becca Wild Honey Blush, another one of my favorite blushes. It's such a natural, but just a beautiful blush. Okay, I think that's all I need. I don't wanna to get too carried away. Now I'm gonna take some eyebrow gel. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. I love using this because it just adds a little bit of warmth to my brow hairs. Now for highlight, I'm using the Tarte Twinkle Stick. I've been loving this cream highlighter stick. It's so stunning. Just gonna pounce my Beauty Blender up and down on it so I don't go in with too much. And then just put that right on my cheekbones. Okay, now just because I'm feeling a little bit extra today, I'm gonna go on some more highlight and this is a powder highlight to Kind of just set down that cream highlighter. You don't have to do that at all. I just like doing it because I feel like it makes it so much more intense. So I'm gonna use the Ofra Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorials highlighter in the shade Everglow. So I'm just gonna be mixing these two shades together to get like the perfect champagne. I'm almost positive this is the Morphe R36 brush. It rubbed off, but I'll leave it in the comments which one it is for sure. Just gonna go right over top of that cream. This highlight is so blinding, it's beautiful, but if you do have texture, it is going to enhance it because it is so pigmented and so like highly metallic that that's just bound to happen, but it still looks beautiful. I love this stuff so much. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and highlight my nose, underneath my eyebrows, and my tear ducts. The Kat Von D shade and light eye contour brush. Now, for my lip liner, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. I love ColourPop's lip pencils. They remind me a lot of the lip pencils in the Kylie Lip Kits, which makes sense because they are made in the same lab. They're not the same formula, but they are made in the same lab, so they do have a lot of similarities, and they're so creamy and buttery, and they're super matte. And then I'm gonna go right over top of that with Beige Bay by M Maybelline, I believe. Yes, Maybelline. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss. I don't know if I should do this or not because I don't want to ruin it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Amber. It's one of her new lip glosses. That added like the perfect amount of warmth and shine to my lips. And then last but not least, I'm gonna spray my face down with the MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so 
that completes this look. I hope you guys liked it. It's been so long since I've filmed a tutorial. So I just wanted to do something that wasn't too difficult and I love how it turned out. I love these warm tones. I love the lid shade. I just love everything about it. So I really hope you guys do too. If you do then please give this video a thumbs up. So if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.